Hi, this is Bob. Been working on this uh, little QRP guys DSB transceiver and uh, made the first contact with it yesterday. Uh, got a uh, contact with a station in Texas and uh, it was very interesting. Uh, I, I tried to uh, download uh, the program five times and could not get it to work and uh, finally I got to thinking about it and they have two different programs listed here on the WSJT-X uh, website this is the physics physics.princeton.edu uh, website and so they've got two different versions here listed one for 32 and one for 64 bit so uh, anyhow I downloaded the 32 bit and it's working great so I was real happy with that I was really surprised when I downloaded that I had uninstalled the other one like I said and installed it uh, four times and then when I fifth fifth time I uninstalled it and I put in this uh, version 2.1.2 and it says win 32.exe and it's about three quarters of the way down the page and the two are right together there the 64 and the 32 bit are right together <coughs> excuse me anyhow is so happy when that uh, when that occurred and this is the uh, I don't know if you can read that. That shows you the, the website that I'm at right there. And you scroll down and come on down to here where it says installation packages. And I, I used the Win32, the top one there. And I did not have to do anything with the... Uh, QRP guys transceiver here except set the levels and you got to set the level here on the uh, see get my little arrow down there in the corner I'm in the lower left corner here and there's a little speaker down there you click on that speaker I had to set the sound level here and you notice it's running pretty high right there and then I've got the sound level on the little QRP guys the sound level pot right here and he's turned up just about all the way I'd say three quarters and you have to turn up your sound levels until this uh, unit here keys reliably it's got a VOX circuit in it so when it gets the tones from the computer it keys but it's got to have the tone strong enough here's another thing I did too I put a little piece of duct tape <laughs> over that green light. That thing is so bright, it just about blind you. I could put, I could change the resistor in there, but I just thought, hey, got a piece of duct tape, I'll put that on. And I'm just using two uh, one eighth inch jumper cords with uh, with one eighth inch uh, stereo plugs on each one on each end to go to the computer and uh, one goes to the microphone input and the other one goes to the headphone output or the speaker output so that's the deal there so anyhow let's turn this little puppy on and see what happens first of all I'll get off of this website here and we will click on to the icon for there it is there's our uh, program and uh, now as far as the power is concerned I've got this power supply here that I used with the IC7300 this is a big old transformer power supply and I'm going to plug this cord in and I'm going to set this camera down for about five seconds while I plug the cord in and there we go And let's see what happens. And there we are. Already guys are coming in. Let 
There's some more. There is a K9FE calling CQ. Very interesting. When that came on, I was so happy last night. And uh, then to transmit, all I do is just, all you have to do is just click on this enable TX or enable transmit. And you're all set. Then when you're done transmitting, you just click on halt. And you got standard messages that you can put in those little uh, boxes here. Man, there's a lot of guys on. <laughs> That's neat. That's really neat. So the program is working just beautifully. And the little uh, QRP guys DSB transceiver is working. I was going to show you guys too. Uh, power output and uh, a quick little... Quick little shot of the uh, waveform on the scope. So what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a number 47 bulb onto, onto the unit. I'm going to click on the tune tab here, right there, and boom, there's our output. And I would say it takes uh, between a half and three quarters of a watt to light a number 47 bulb like that. And I clicked on that tune again and it turned it off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, scope probe. This is a little bit tricky because it's not much room. Put the scope probe onto the uh, base of the 47 bulb. <laughs> and there's not much room. There we go. Now we'll do a transmit. Tune. And there's our waveform. I hadn't turned this stuff on since last night. This is going really smooth here. So that's what the waveform looks like. And I wanted to use that uh, scope and check it that way to see if I was over modulating or anything like that. I got a real nice looking waveform. I don't know exactly what the waveform should look like, but this is what I got. And I think that's okay. Anyhow, the guys are answering me. And I'll turn the tune off like that. And uh, so I am really happy with, uh, with the quality of the parts, the quality of the circuit board, the quality of the circuits that I see. Uh, everything about this little unit is, uh, is quality, as far as I can see. And uh, once you get the program in and get it working, it's doing great. Well, like I say, it took me five tries. And so uh, I wanted to uh, let you know that it's not the easiest thing in the world to... Uh, to load the program and get it working. But uh, that's the program. That's, that's not, uh, and that has to do with the internet connections and your computer and everything else. So just because I had to do it five times doesn't mean that you will. But uh, anyways, it, it worked out just great. And what else? I guess that's it. So I'm, I'm just tickled that everything is working like it is. And uh, with that, why, uh, I will say 73s and good DX.